Shrit Halikov, Director of the Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs in Geneva. I'm here to talk about resilience to external shocks of the governments and local communities in the Middle East and North Africa. Local communities uh, are affected by all kinds of um, disasters, be they uh, natural disasters or conflict-induced disasters, and their ability to come back to modicum of normality to come back to the um, normal life, I would say, as it used to be before disaster struck them, is very important. We see so hundreds of thousands of displaced people outside Syria, in Lebanon, Jordan, Turkey, people who are fleeing their houses and they create additional strain on social services, on health services, on food supplies, on um, education, that to the communities that receive them, that absorb them, it's a very strange and very, very big thing for the local communities. It is related to the uh, ability of uh, those who govern the people to govern the people properly. It also relates a little bit to the rule of law. It relates to the ability of leadership of the country to offer the solutions to very complex problems. And it also relates to the ability of the functioning of the um, local bureaucracy or national bureaucracy in a non-corrupt way. The uh, very um, clear illustration of that was during the two earthquakes at the beginning of 2010 in Haiti and Chile. Chilean earthquake was much, much stronger than Haitian earthquake, but we had much less casualties in Chilean earthquake, much more enforcement of the construction code in Chile than in Haiti. A resilience to absorb external shocks by the local communities is a humanitarian issue as well as a development issue. And it has to be properly supported by uh, international communities and by national governments.